back to my channel my name is Demaya if you're new here in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this hair and makeup look featuring irresistible me hair so they were nice enough to send me over there 200 gram 24 inch bundle in jet black and yeah I like the quality of this hair and I definitely think y'all will too but I'm going to get into more specs of the hair in the video so just keep on watching so this is their classic set of clip-in in the color jet black like i said so the cool thing i like about irresistible me is that they send you your hair in this little package so one side has one weft and then the other side has the rest of your wefts the one weft is so you'll be able to test out the hair before you open up the full package if you don't like it you can send it back but once you break that seal you're stuck with the hair but yeah i really like the fact that they offer that feature they don't only offer clip-in hair extensions they also offer um, hair tools, hair accessories, hair care products, and wigs. So yeah, they definitely have something for you. The other cool thing I like about Irises for Me is that they offer 100 grams, 140 grams, and 200 grams. And like I said, I have 200 grams. So the 100 grams come with seven pieces. Your 140 grams come with eight pieces. And the 200 grams come with 10 pieces. And they're extensions range from 14 inches to 24 inches so i'm gonna start with this two clip with i dyed my hair black um to match these clip-ins so hopefully it blends well because my hair didn't take all the way to the black dye i'm nervous to see how these are gonna blend because they're so long And I was also nervous because my hair isn't this silky, so we shall see. I saw other people make videos with this hair and it blended just fine, so I don't know, child. I know y'all probably tired of seeing these clipping videos, but guess what? Ain't nobody put a ring on my finger, so I'm gonna keep making videos for whoever. I want. And by ring, I mean ain't nobody, ain't nobody give me a contract yet. All right. I'm nervous, y'all. But I like the quality of the hair. It's really nice. And also, when they first reached out to me, I was kind of skeptical because if you go on their website, they don't have any black women on their website. I was like, you know, they keep reaching out to me. Let me just see what it's about. Uh, so I looked up some videos on them and I see other black women use their hair. So I'm like, you can't be bad. Don't knock something until you try it, right?
Now what I'm thinking I should do is take this extra, um, this sample piece that they give and sew those clip-ins on. Oh, this is a clip-in. Yeah, that looks better. And so far, um, this hair hasn't shed that much. I only see like 10 strands of hair. No one would ever know. How would they know? How would they know? If my hair was a, uh, if my hair was jet black like the hair, like you definitely wouldn't be able to tell. So now I'm about to do my makeup. In my last hair video, a few of y'all asked me to do a tutorial on my makeup. So if y'all really want like a tutorial tutorial, go to my updated makeup routine. This is just gonna be like a, I mean, it's what it is. Are you ready with me? It is what it is. So I've already moisturized my face with this Olay Complete um, Daily Moisturizer. It has SPF in it and this Vitamin C Serum from Tree of Life. All right, so if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, you know that I usually, um, do my eyebrows last. So the last two times I did my makeup, I started doing my eyebrows first. So I'm gonna do that again. This is quite scary because this is my first time doing it on camera and they be looking a mess, but we gonna get them together. Like one of my arches are higher, one of my tails are thicker. They're just cousins, distant cousins for real. And I'm trying to make them fraternal twins. So I conceal with um, Toffee by LA Pro Girl. And this is just a flat brush from Morphe. It's the M432 brush. Now, I don't know what made me just do this because I don't ever um, connect my eyebrows like this. So now I'm gonna move on to my face. I'm using this Master Prime by Face Studio. Um, it's by Maybelline, but it says by Face Studio as well. It's a hydrating um, primer. So if you have oily skin, this is no good for you. My sister has um, Hydro Grip Primer by milk and i tried it before and it grips and it hydrates but you also gonna be looking like a glazed donut not just glaze super glaze <laughs> but i've been using this super safe foundation um, from maybelline i don't like how orange it makes me look sometimes but i like the finish of it then i just use this flat top brush um I don't even know what brand this is, but it's really good. I'm pretty sure any flat any flat top brush will be good, but. It 
it makes me look orange where well, it oxidizes and after I put on concealer and contour it um it looks better I need to find a better shade for myself but right now this is what I'm using You couldn't really tell in my last video because I wore that turtleneck. That's why I wore that turtleneck. It's because my face wasn't matching my neck. Um, even though I had put some foundation on my neck, it still wasn't matching. So yeah, I just pumped out like three or four pumps of this foundation and I didn't even use it. We love that. I just put a little bit of concealer on the back of my hand because I didn't want to put too much and it still seemed like I picked up too much on this brush. And then I'm gonna go underneath where my contour will be for reverse contouring. And I usually will put it straight on my face as well, but less is always more y'all. I look back at pictures um, and I'm like, I could have definitely <laughs> used less of that. So yeah. I like to put my highlighter on and then um, blend it out with my foundation brush. My eyebrows don't look half bad. So I'm taking this clean brush and just blending everything out, the edges. Because we want everything to be seamless. And even though you have like, you know, the foundation on the other brush, it helps to blend it out, but like you can only do so much with products still on your brush. So it helps to have a clean brush to blend out the edges even more. This brand is SK. I don't know where my sister got these from. Probably Amazon. Um, but yeah, I like their brushes. Anyways, it's in the shade 8003. And I normally like using something more cool tone around my face, but this is what we got and it's what I'm using. So these past few times I've been doing my makeup, I also started contouring my chin. I already put some right here, but whatever. I'm not sure if y'all will see a difference, but yeah. So now, just going back over with my foundation brush. I 
And I'm gonna go back in with this clean, clean brush. I'm going in with this mini blending brush. And I'm using this setting brush from Little Techniques. I like dust over my forehead. I don't really like setting a lot on my forehead. So yeah, in high school, I used to use this eyeshadow from Color You. I don't know if y'all know, but it's a cosmetic line. They used to have like a little kiosk in the middle of Suncrest Mall. And yeah, I used to use this orange eyeshadow to highlight. And I just started back and I'm loving it. Next, I'm gonna put on these Demi Wispy um, lashes from Ardell. Before I put on bottom mascara, I'm gonna set my face. To finish this off, I'm going in with, I believe this is Champagne Rose, what is it? Soft Rose by um, Milani. And that's it for my makeup, y'all. I use Style Factor Edge Control Edge Booster. My only other reservation about um, doing this collaboration was that when I checked out their website, they didn't have any black women or not even like just black. They didn't have any Asian women, any Latino women. They didn't have no other women besides white women. And that's fine if you want to like, you know, promote your products and market your products to a certain demographic. But I feel like the women on your website should be more diverse if you know, you're marketing your products to other women. I want my audience to feel comfortable purchasing. So if they don't see themselves represented on the website, then, you know, they probably won't feel comfortable shopping there. So yeah, um, I don't know if this is their first time hearing this, but yeah, I just feel like they should do something about that. But yeah, other than that, I love the hair. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy and definitely check out Irresistible Me Hair. I don't have a code for y'all, but they are having a women's sale. I guess it's for um, Women's History Month. You can get up to 50% off. So yeah, go check them out. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all on my next one. Bye y'all.